Hello, this is Lance Cleveland, author of the Store Locator Plus plugin for WordPress. I'm going to go over some of the updates that are coming in version 4.3.13 of Store Locator Plus. One of the big fixes that are coming is the retaining of settings of checkboxes. This is a legacy issue that goes back to HTML forms processing that was causing a problem and it was uh, resolved a long time ago in the core Store Locator Plus code. But the uh, result was if you had saved a checkbox on an add-on pack like Pages and Pages replaces websites, went to Experience tab, did any saving here, the Pages tab settings would be unset. Any of the checkboxes would be unset. Again, that's a issue having to do with HTML forms processing where unchecked checkboxes are not sent back to the server. So we have to kind of pre um, seed that as being checked or unchecked. And that was a glitch in store pages and store locator plus uh, 4.3 add-on framework. So that's been resolved. You will need to upgrade store pages to the next release 4.3.02 that's also coming out today and upgrade store locator plus to 4.3.13 and that problem will be resolved. The other issue that was fixed in this is the ability to store custom CSS files, plugin styles into the CSS directory. So what was happening is you would create your CSS file, store it in store locator le slash CSS in that subdirectory. When you upgraded the plugin, WordPress automatically deletes everything out of that directory. Well, that uh, there's a restore mechanism. Whenever you come in here to view, click Save Settings, it would take a copy of the CSS file and store it in a remote location under your WordPress Uploads SLP directory to be specific. And then when the upgrade happened, it would the WordPress engine deletes everything out of the plugin subdirectory. The plugin, when it is reactivated, will go and find the CSS uh, saved files and restore them. So there was a um, problem with that. Depending on how you did your upgrade, there are probably a dozen different ways. A lot of them people don't realize for upgrading plugins. Well, some of those uh, plugin update methods do not trigger the standard code for activating a plugin. So I had to rewire the update check and the activation check into a uh, base level WordPress function. It's not the uh, probably the best method, but it's the only method available by WordPress. There's no uh, on plugin update. So there's other workarounds that I have uh, learned from other developers in the WordPress plugin community and applied that to my plugin. So the short version is if you have a custom CSS file, it should now save it to a remote location as soon as you hit save settings. So you want to make sure you do that. And then uh, on a plugin update, it should restore it automatically and everything should be good. If you have uh, continued issues with that, please contact support at storelocatorplus.com or post in the forums and we'll chase it down as quickly as we can. So uh, hopefully two rather annoying issues have been addressed in the latest releases. And um, at this point, I'll be working on plugin patches, any reported issues over the next week or two, and hopefully get any other minor annoyances out of the way and uh, give you a good experience with Store Locator Plus. So that's it for the 4.3.13 update. More notes coming in Store Pages update video that's coming up next. Thanks for your support of Store Locator Plus.